This is Genatsa Tayer. A toast to Armenia with Jano Kabinjian. A comprehensive look at the Armenian culture only on the Ignotainment Media Network. Genatsat, Genatsat Hayer, Pai Luis Inch Pesek. Hey guys, great to have the show back, Chris. I was gone uh, last week and uh, I really missed the show, but uh, I kind of had some problems at the with the old body. Yeah, I, I know. think too much Armenian fu- food caught to me. <laughs> and so uh, That'll do it. Yeah, and um, I, I had to go in a couple days. I We missed the show, but hey. We're back, and it's, it's good to be back. Good to be back, and um, this show, I just want to do a little recap. We got a two uh, two part here, yep. um, a two part guest, and uh, one is Christopher Chambers. He was on our show recently. Uh, did the Aram Aram? He yeah. wrote it and he directed it, and uh, it's getting a I lot like, of acclaim. Yeah, li- and you know what? We'd like to see how that's coming along Absolutely. and so forth. So I yep. invited him back on the show, and. Um, I like to get some updates on that. Absolutely. And our second one is Roger Capellian. Uh, our good friend Roger. Roger, yep. yeah, and uh, he's met his goal, and we want to talk to him about that, about uh, the Volume Two uh, book that he just uh, yep. released uh, that will be released. And uh, let's start off by uh, welcoming our guest here, Christopher Chambers, that came up with the movie. What was that? Chris? Sorry about that. You keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, we got Christopher Chambers. How you doing, my man? Hey, it's good to be back. How are you? Well, I, I'm good now. I'm good, buddy. I, I was kind I was kind of laid out in the hospital for a while. I had lo- some uh, some too let let's just say too many kebabs went down the spotty, and they had to detox it a little bit. So <laughs> I'm back now, and uh, it's good to have you on our show. You know, I said to myself, you know, I like to know how the show Aram Aram is coming along. I'm getting updates on it on Facebook, but you know what? Let's let's call Chris and find out what's going on with Aram Aram. Last time we had you on the show, you were getting ready for a big trip to uh, Armenia for the Armenian Festival out there uh, in Armenia, actually. And uh, I'd like to know how that went, and it's all with our people out there. Well, it's been an amazing ride since last time we talked. So much has happened. It's been really exciting. Uh, we brought Aram Aram to the Golden Apricot Film Festival in Yerevan, Armenia. I flew out there, as well as John uh, Ruhinian, who's a very talented young actor who plays Aram in the film. We both went out there. You know, we got to have him on one too. time. Pardon me? We got to have him on the show sometime. I think that'd be a great we promotion, too, for Aram Aram. All right, sorry, sorry. I All jumped right. in. Go ahead. Oh, no, it'd be amazing to have him on. I mean, he was 12 years old when he started in this film. It was his first starring role, the first time he'd ever worked on a movie in a lead role. And I don't know about you, but at 12 years old, I don't think I could even hold a conversation with an adult, let alone work on a film set. No, and you're definitely right. if you see right. the film, you'll see his, his performance is incredible and he's been getting great reviews. He's a very talented, very intelligent, uh, very passionate uh, young boy. Um well, and he's very proud of his heritage, which is great to see. It's great that you mention that because I do have a little clip of him in Aram Aram that we're going to let out too. And you know what? It's it's not a it's something that they can hear, the, our folks can hear, and uh, you know you'll get a little idea of uh, what uh, Chris is talking about too. So uh, go ahead, Chris. Uh, so everything went well at the Arm in Armenia. It was really fantastic. We did a screening. There was not a dry eye in the house at the end. And I didn't know how the film would would resonate because this is a story that's an immigrant story set in little Armenia in America. And in Armenia, it's the opposite of immigrants. There's people who have been there 5,000 years or more. But the audience was really, really supportive of the film. and It was really an emotional screening. And then we went to the Montreal Film Festival, which was fantastic. We got to connect with... Um, all kinds of film lovers there, as well as the Armenian community there in Montreal, which is really warm reception. I'm going to back um, this up. I'm going to back this up, Chris. When you're in Armenia, okay. do these people eat a lot or what? I mean, every every <laughs> home you had to go to, there had to be uh, food just laid out in front of you. I have never seen anything like it. I've never seen <laughs> hospitality like I saw in Armenia, and my pants don't even fit anymore after that trip. I'm uh, not kidding. Uh, uh, you're you're definitely right. Incre- 
every night was another huge dinner party with lots of toasts, incredible mountains of food, um, and just incredible warmth. I've never experienced anything oh, like that. Oh, that's you know? beautiful. That's beautiful. Folks in Armenia, he's he's talking about you guys out there, and I'm telling you, uh, that's the way I feel every time I visit Armenia. You guys are great, and uh, it's not just for me and Chris. You guys do it for everybody, so God bless all you out there. Yeah, it's great. So um, then you went to Montreal, you were saying. Yes, uh, Montreal was a really great experience. There's a, there's a very different sort of um, Armenian uh, community there. And it's definitely a big mix. Uh, of course, you have high Estancia, but also there seems to be quite a lot of the... Uh, Le- too, and it was right? A, it was lot. a great experience. Yeah. I also ate too much food there. Yeah. I'd say there's a lot of Middle Eastern Armenian there too, right? Probably from uh, Beirut and uh, Lebanese type, Middle Eastern. Exactly. That's that's what we encountered in you. That's what we yeah. saw when we were there. Yeah. It was a great experience. And I also heard from you, Chris. Now you better not back down, back out of this one. But I heard that there's a film festival here in St. Louis, Missouri, that uh, you might be a part of. That's right. We've been invited to be part of the St. Louis International Film Festival coming up in mid-November. So we'll be there around November fifteenth. So if you're God. around, we would love oh. you to come out. Oh God, I'd love me. to meet the community. I hope you like the film. Yeah, me and Chris will be. Available. We'd love to do that. We'd love to be a part of it. So Absolutely. that's great. That sounds spectacular. That sounds beautiful. Excited you're going to be here. That's that's very cool. Yeah. Well, time to I am to gr- time to put some more I'm weight on. Very surprised <laughs> to get in. Hey, uh, Chris, can you uh, bring up um, yes that uh, little uh, part of the movie that we do have? Uh, so what was so what are you up to now, Chris? Just uh, kicking back. Uh, from all this uh, traveling, or what's going on with you? <laughs> uh, I haven't unpacked yet, to be honest, because we're about to head out of town again, and we're coming out into theaters, which is super exciting. Um, we're going to have our red carpet premiere October 1st uh, in Fresno, where we're going to be there running for a whole week at the Maya Cinemas Fresno. It's going to be really great. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of press and all of our actors up there. So if anybody's in Fresno, it's going to be really exciting to kickstart our theatrical tour there. Um, it's sort of the root of Armenian uh, culture and history in, in, in California, so it seemed like a great place to kick off our theatrical tour. Okay, Fresno, you heard it. We need you guys out there. Support. All right, you got it keyed up? Yeah. All right, play it. Let's. Uh, this is from Aram Aram. This is not quality. Do you like quality, Aram? I oh, yeah. You want Mercedes or you want junk? I want Mercedes. I know it. You know how I know it? Oh. Because you're just like me, man. Don't eat this with that part. Well, I tell you what, that looked like a pretty damn good scene there. And, I mean, how this little boy is so consumed by this a big, bad Armenian gangster. I, I, I tell you what, I, I can't wait to watch this, Chris. This, this looks like a great movie. So far, we found that um, the audiences have really, really responded to it. You know, it's basically a story about a boy who comes to America. He's an Armenian boy, and he has struggle adapting and falls in with the wrong crowd. And it seems to be a story that we've noticed is really hits home for some people who have someone they know or someone they're related to who fell in with the wrong crowd when they were trying to like adapt to life right. in America. Right. And it's a story that happens in many different communities. It's really not specific to our Armenian community, but we try to do it with Armenian actors to make it more authentic and to feel like a world that hasn't really been seen in American movies before. No, it's it's beautiful. And uh, I guess it's not... Re- you're constantly working, trying to promote this thing. Uh, so uh, we got we got these festivals coming up and so forth. Uh um, within the within what time span are we talking? Uh, uh, everything just being out to the public then, or is this just um, on festival time. basis? No, actually. So we're coming out to the theaters starting October first in Fresno, and then our big opening is going to be in Los Angeles because that's our home court, and uh, in Glendale and Encino, in Glendale at the Americana. And oh, it's, you know, at the yeah. Lumley Theaters. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's all happening October big. 16th. We're going to stay in theaters as long as people want to buy tickets, is what the movie theaters said. Oh, and wow. we have all these really cool partnerships we're creating. 
with other groups in the community that are somehow connected to the arts or to acting or to other themes in the film. And uh, I'd love to tell you more about that if you guys are curious to know kind of how... What, yeah, what yeah, please. Please. Okay, cool. Well, so so opening night, our big opening night is October 16th uh, in Glendale and Encino. But our real big event is going to be sponsored by the ARPA Film Foundation. It's the ARPA Foundation for Film, Music, and Art. Okay. And they're amazing because uh, it was founded by this amazing woman named Sylvia Benatian. And what they do is they put on the ARPA Film Festival which is this international film festival that's been running in L.A. for, I think, about 20 years almost, 18 years. And that's November 13th to the 15th at the Egyptian Theater in Hollywood. Um, and they're just a great organization. They're changing the landscape of film festivals in Los Angeles. And we're really excited that they're going to be presenting our opening night on October 16th. Wow, uh, that's, that really sounds great. pretty and big. I hope everybody, yeah, they're really, really great people, really making – incredible films that they present at the film festival excellent um, excellent chris that, that's yeah. that's a lot of work and man it, and i hope it uh, pays off and uh again whenever you need any uh anything we can promote on this movie our our next guest oh, well you know what we helped him out a little bit and uh, he reached his goal uh roger capellian so uh we love to spread the word in fresno hey fresno what's the date again chris Fresno kicks off October 1st, and we run all the way through the 8th. And what's that called again? Is that some sort of uh, an Armenian festival, a film festival? How, how can they no, get the tickets? No, that's actually just – yeah, that's a great question. That's at the Maya Cinemas in Fresno, and the tickets are on sale on Dango.com. Basically just like buying tickets to the movie theater, except you're, you know, you're, you're helping to support an independent film. Excellent, excellent. And our big one will be kicking off in Glendale, and that is in – Mid October, right? Yeah, October sixteenth with ARPA. Um, actually, on a Saturday, October seventeenth, we're doing a cross promotion with the Armenian Youth Federation, which is a really fantastic group, AYF. Right, and right. And then Sunday with the USC Institute of Armenian Studies for a little bit more of a sociological, intellectual kind of Q and A session afterwards. And, uh, and on Thursday, October twenty second, with Playhouse West, which is a really famous acting school here in LA where one of our lead actors, Sevak Hakoyan, who's originally from Yerevan, was a student, still a student, when he got cast in one of the lead roles in the film. So that's really exciting. We're going to do a Q&A session all about him and how do you break in when you want to work on, as an actor on independent films. One more thing, Chris. Uh, how can people get a hold of you on the social media, like a Facebook site or something like that? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Film. Not Autumn Autumn, it's Facebook.com slash Autumn Autumn Film. And we'll have all the updates for all of our screenings, everywhere we're going. And in L.A. and Fresno, you can buy tickets at Fandango.com. They'll be on sale really soon. So okay. just check us out on Facebook. If you want to connect, you can send us a message, and one of us will get back to you. And I tell you what, too, uh, Chris, if you want, uh, put it on our site as well, on Toast to Armenia, a link to where they can get on to Autumn Autumn's site Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I think that'll make things easier for our people as well on Toast to Armenia. All right, my man, it's been great having you on our show. I mean, uh, honestly, anything we could ever do for you, uh, we're here for you guys. And uh, Aram Aram, it's a great movie. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see you, too, in St. Louis in mid-November. But, you know, you got big festivals coming up here in L.A. in uh, October. And... Uh, uh, the, uh, good luck with hey Fresno. Uh, don't let me down now. You guys got to go see this one. Uh, that's early in uh, in October, right? Yes, October first is October first. Right, that's when that kicks off. All right, Chris. It's been great having you on our show, Christopher Chambers, my friends. Check out Aram Aram. It's been great having you on. Thanks so much. Well, I'll tell you what, that was great, Chris. Our next guest, well, a friend of the show. Friend of the show. Huge friend of the show, yeah. Big, big time friend of the show, and that is Roger Capellian. Roger, great to have you on, my brother. I'm really happy to be on. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, Roger, you got some great news for us. I do, I do. I mean, it's, uh, I, had to, I had to sit down after to take a breath sometimes. I mean, I just, uh, I can't believe how, uh, how wonderful uh, this last week has been. Um, you know, we, we launched our Kickstarter for uh, Warrior Saints. Mm-hmm. Uh, on uh, a week ago, actually on Thursday last week, and within six days, we actually had uh, our goal, 
already. That's and that's amazing. Six days we're incredible. at our goal. Yeah, that is unbelievable. And yeah, I mean, I, I just have, uh, you know, I want to thank you guys for having a great show and getting the word out there. That definitely was a huge factor. Uh, there were some other people who really did that. Chris Chambers actually was one of the individuals who really oh, God got bless behind him. the project and got it out to everyone. He's and, a great you know, guy. We track, yeah, we're, we're tracking where the, the traffic is coming from. Uh, Chris Chambers, Dan Panosian, who's this amazing comic book artist, uh, he put it out there. Really? Um, we yeah, gotta, we got to have him on next time. we got we got to talk to him. He's, he's very entertaining, uh, both him and his wife, Elena, who's a working, wonderful actress. Excellent. Uh, and now the director, they're they're wonderful people. In fact, they were in my first book. They, they were actually characters in my first book. Okay. All right. Now, here's the big question here. Now, we've yeah. raised – we've got – We've got the money in there. We've still uh, we still got plenty of days on this uh, uh, kickstart goal. I mean, we still got what twenty twenty two days twenty. Uh, how many days we still got out there for this thing? I to think end? about 20, 20. 20 days at this point. Yeah. Twenty days. Okay, so now we're working on um, more numbers, um, more funds coming in. Tell us about that. What what's going on with that money? Well, I mean, you know, one thing the Kickstarter um, advises is, you know, if you get your budget, just keep going because, you know, there's a lot you can do to uh, exactly. you know, promote the project. Yeah. Exactly. And and it's not just about throwing cash at me. I mean, it's really about pre-buying the book because we're going to publish a thousand copies. Right. And uh, if we if we double what we got now, guess what? Everybody who got a copy of the soft cover is automatically going to get it the hard cover version. No, oh, that's great. That, yeah. That's that's Beautiful. great stuff. Yeah. But, and you you also mentioned uh, now we're at close to thirteen, a little bit above thirteen. Now you go for. Are you trying to get another volume put together now? Maybe a book three of this? Yeah, it, it all it, book three. I mean, the script is uh, kind of ready. Uh, what what we're thinking is. Um, are you there? Hello. Yeah, yeah, Roger. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. Uh, what we're thinking is book three. I mean, it's pretty much already laid out, but the production, of the actual artwork, uh, script finalization, and everything's going to occur when we hit certain benchmarks. I mean, it all depends on what um, how excited people get, how they. Uh, so you know, this it. this extra twenty days could also be the beginning of the volume three coming out on this too. Then yeah, Excellent. if we do well enough. If we do well Excellent. enough in the next 20 days, yeah. not only will we get Volume uh, 3 started, but everybody who ordered Volume 2 will automatically get Volume 3. As soon as we're done wow. with it, they will automatically get it. Yes. Wow. Right, you can't They'll have that. the whole saga, but we just got to reach those benchmarks. Uh, you point. know what? I, I think we're very capable with what we have uh, going out there. That Kickstart is unbelievable. Great site. For our fans, they've been at it. And uh, you know what, folks? Don't stop. Don't stop. Tell your friends about it. Let's all get to that site and uh, see if, uh, you know, you'll find it interesting. I don't have to sell and any, share it. sell you anything to you yeah, guys out no. there. You, you'll see it and you'll love it. So as, as every Armenian should, it's part of our history. It's our culture. And we have one man out there. Right now, Roger Capellian that's got a beautiful series. And now Volume 3 is in the works, too. Who knows? Who knows yep. what's around the corner here? Share it on your Facebook. Everyone share yeah, it. Yeah, look, I mean, everything everything we do is a culture. And I'm talking about our culture reaching out to other cultures, too. But everything we do as a culture is one brick upon a really wonderful structure that we're building. I mean, people can't look at this as a one-off event. So every time we have a little victory like this, it adds to the overall success of everything we're trying to do in all aspects. So, and that's, again, I'm encouraging people to do this, you know. Again, folks, if you haven't checked out the book itself, I mean this this book the this the artwork is outrageously beautiful. This is not just a comic book type of scene. This is, I mean, each figure looks like they're real. It's it's unbelievable. It's beautiful work, uh, Roger. You did a great job. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. I, I worked. This is this is some of the hardest work I've ever done. Uh, well, there, there's really no it. question about it, too. Beautiful. I mean, each each artwork, each page, you could just sit there and look at it for about ten minutes and go, "Wow, I see that. I see it." I mean, it, it, it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So again, c- congratulations, Roger. This was a big call, and uh, 
we're happy to be a part of it. But, man, uh, it takes a lot of work from you, and I'm sure there's a l- big monkey off your back doing this now as well, reaching no, your absolutely. goal. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I am so excited, and not only am I excited, I am such such a – I'm just so impressed with uh, the people who have come forward and supported it. I mean, this is, this is phenomenal, just under six days. Yeah. I mean, I had no idea this was going to happen like that. Yeah, and you got 20 more days, so God knows uh, what. Yeah, plenty more. Well, we we could write the Game of uh, Thorns on on this one. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20 more days. The rate is going. It's do, it's looking really good. Thanks a lot, oh, Roger, yeah. for being on. And uh, hey, stay tuned and uh, let let us know what's going on out there. And uh, for our friends out there, they can still find it on our Facebook site, right, uh, Chris? Absolutely, it's there. Yeah, it will, and it will stay there because we want everyone to continue right. to share it, continue to like it. This is a great thing for 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 our community here. And so. any updates too, uh, Roger? Share it on our site, and we will definitely put it a uh, full page, and uh, we'll see what we could do for you too, my brother. Absolutely, and thanks again to both of you for an amazing job. Wonderful show. Everybody that uh, is on it uh, has nothing but great reviews uh, from their experience, and I really hope people really appreciate what you guys are doing, because I sure do. Thank you very much, Roger, and we will stay in touch. Take care. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. It's it's just amazing. It's just amazing, Chris, how we've made so much contact with these guys oh. and uh, we're, we're part of their life now too because they tune into our podcast once a week and uh, it's it's good to know that we're making people happy out there and we're we're actually helping out with whatever they're out to do too. I mean with Roger uh, he had to raise funds for his book. Yep. We did what I mean we did what we could with it. Hopefully we helped out a yep. lot and uh, with uh, Christopher Chambers, God, I hope that movie kicks off, and um, we do we do have some sort of input Absolutely. where we put our foot in the door and helped out there as well yeah. with our people. So I think it's awesome to bring everyone together in the Armenian community. That's the whole point of the show. It's it's fabulous because you know what we're not just one sided here, folks. Uh, you know, I've been brought up as. Uh, uh, listening to political music, Armenian songs, uh, patriotic, that's great. I never want you guys to ever forget that. But I also want you to see the sides of the Roger Capellians out there, the Ambedians out there, the Christopher Chambers out there that are putting movies together for Armenians and so forth. This, this is uh, this is this is what we're here for. I mean, this is we we keep moving and uh, we're moving in the right direction as the Absolutely. Armenian people. I think that's great. So, hey, I think that's all I got for you folks uh, out there this week. Tune in next week and Kishir uh, Party, Genatsid Hayer. This is Genatsid Hayer, a toast to Armenia with Jano Kabinjian, a comprehensive look at the Armenian culture. Only on the Ignotainment Media Network. <laughs>